I was always drawing. It was my only means of expression. It's what's kept me alive and going now. It's what I live for and I love my art. When I was in high school, I asked my teacher what the best art school is in California. So he told me it was Art Center. I started collecting all the drawings I was doing in the class, and I packed them up and sent them off to try and see what they thought. What do you know? They wrote back and they said, you're accepted and you have a full tuition. Full tuition for I forget how many years I went there, six years or something. Everybody else, you know, they were paying and they had money and their parents were supporting them. And they would all congregate at lunchtime around my favorite and apparently their favorite teacher as well, a, man, uh, a very famous artist named Lorser Fidelson. Well, I had a free ride, but I didn't have any money for lunch. So I just stood aside and they were all sitting at the table with him. When we went back to class, I asked him, how come you look up to me and you don't look at any of the other students? And he said, well, because I'm just speaking to the one. He gave me the heart of an artist. And from then on, I just soared. I got married when I graduated. We had a child and we had no money. We lived in really small little houses when I could find a place to live. I went out looking for work when I didn't even know how to find work and the school didn't teach me how to find work. And I did it out of the seat of my pants. So I went to Disney and I went to a place called Pacific Ioneer. Disney put me in a little bitty 10 by 10 room and said, draw a picture, come out and show us what you've done. So I did, and they said, we'll, we'll get in touch with you. In a little bit, I went over to Pacific Iron Ear and uh, I showed them my portfolio and they said, can you do this all the time? And I said, that's all I do. So they said, we'll get back to you. So in the meantime, Disney called and said, we'll hire you for to be a background painter for movies. And I said, okay. And then I called Pacific Ioneer and they said, you're hired. We're, you can paint album covers to your heart's content. So I had to choose which place I would work for. I called Pacific Ioneer, told them, okay, I'll take your offer to hire me. And so that's where I started to work. I worked very hard and I just kept on. I was persistent. And so I just did it. And I did it, why? Because I loved it. And there's no stronger force in this universe than love. And I painted Geez, I don't know how many album covers I painted. You can look them up, they're online. <laughs> After I painted there for a while, Alice Cooper, I painted uh, an album for his, his work. Welcome to My Nightmare was the name of it. I went up to his house in the Hollywood Hills and I took a picture of him and uh, went back and did a painting for the album cover. What do you know, the album cover was posted on a, a giant billboard about 60 feet wide. And there was an art director that drove by and saw it. And he thought it was the best thing he had ever seen. So he went back to see his boss and said, we got to get this guy to paint movie posters. I painted movie posters for the next what, 50 years?
If you've ever seen a movie poster for the last 50 years, it was probably my artwork. Album covers is a one-shot deal. Movies are bigger and they need to really sell something big. When I started doing movie posters, I would go to the movie studios and I became friends with some of the biggest movie directors alive today. Every movie for George Lucas, I would go meet with him, pay person to person. He would tell me why he made Star Wars, the story he was telling, and he would show me the movie. He would tell me who was doing the what, who was the most important character, what the movie was about. I would go back to the movie studio and they would give me still photographs from the movie and I would get hundreds of still shots and I would pick out the ones I thought were exactly what George was talking about for his movie. And I picked out the ones I thought were the most beautiful and the most important. This is my studio. This is where I do all my work, all my painting, all my thinking, all my mistakes. <laughs> what I'm doing at the moment is working on something that Dean asked me to do. He wants a How to Train Your Dragon triptych. It's kind of a based on a couple of things I've done in the past, like the Star Wars, I did a triptych, and it became everybody's favorite touchstone for the movies. And he loved it so much, he would like to have something like that for his. That's all I've been doing. I'm going through hundreds and hundreds of pictures from the movie that I picked out that I might be able to use. When I was at Art Center, I loved to paint and draw in color, but to do it like the Impressionists did with lively, beautiful color, just telling the story. It's intuitive. I want it to be beautiful like everything else I want to do. I love sharing what I, people line up just to tell me their kids have the posters in their bedrooms and the parents do too, because they just love to see them every time they look at it. It reminds them of the, the movie that they loved. I had, what, 500 movie posters I painted. I sent them all off to Texas to a gallery that they built for me. They're all gonna be shown and seen, and people can't wait until they get to go into the gallery and buy the original art. When I see them go leaving the studio, I stop and look at them and relive them because I think they're still great. Now I sound like I'm having a favorite, I'm not. The next one's not gonna be my favorite. And when it's finished, the next one will be my favorite until I do another one. <laughs> so. Art is necessary. It's for truth, it's for kindness, it's for goodness, it's for love. It keeps the world happy and good and healthy. It's what we need. It's, it's my three things, truth, beauty, love. If you got that, you're gonna make the world a better place. Do it, and do it with all your heart. Do it with all your motives, any desire you have, do it. And you don't have to copy me. <laughs> Get it out of yourself and you'll have it. We're all doing something good and beneficial and valuable to humanity. Go for it. <laughs>